COVID closures could be making a return. Fresno County could be headed back into the purple tier. On Friday, the Fresno County Public Health Department expressed concern after seeing a slight increase in positive COVID-19 cases. If this happens, some indoor services could have to close again, including places of worship. Our Angelica Leilani has the story. On Sunday, many gathered at People's Church in Fresno for its first indoor service in months. Empty chairs separating congregation members, and for the most part, folks were wearing masks. We have both online, indoor, and outdoor, so people can make decisions in regards to what's best for them. But things could soon change. On Friday, the Fresno County Public Health Department said the chances of moving back into the purple tier are high, which means indoor operations could shut down again, including for places of worship. Our plans right now are to wait and hear what is happening, so we're not making decisions based upon um, uh, speculation or based upon what ifs. And so uh, typically Tuesday we get the report and then we'll be making some decisions based upon that. Cross City Christian Church on knees near Willow Avenue echoing those plans. Our people are hungry to be here. Uh, they're walking in smiles on their face. Um, we did pivot before uh, we, we met outside, uh, but we are not ready to make a decision right now on what we'll do on information that hasn't been given to us yet. Though we weren't allowed inside, the associate pastor says they are taking safety precautions with signs posted outside to social distance. In downtown Fresno, Cornerstone Church has been gathering indoors since May 31st. Like People's Church, they're having folks social distance by using empty chairs to keep them separated. Since the start of the pandemic, Pastor Jim Franklin has held firm to his belief that churches are essential and should remain open. He says if the county moves back into the purple tier, they won't close. We've done it safely. We've done it with social distancing, but we're providing essential services. Churches should not be shut down regardless of what the governor says. Angelica Leilani, KC24 Local News. That matters.